what's up you guys welcome back this is part two of the uh we're gonna call her the lola unit or whatever <laughs> uh i'm going to be doing a um balayage on this unit i've already put the unit together if you haven't seen that video you can go back and watch the first video and um you can see the process for me actually putting this wig together and today we're going to be uh, actually coloring the unit. I'm going to be using a couple different techniques, um, uh, but we're going for more like a a heavy ombre towards the front, and then um, not so much in the back, if that makes sense. I'm going to try to walk you guys through that process uh, with me. And so, if you're new to the channel, make sure you uh, give this video a thumbs up and hit the uh, notification bell so every time I post a video you'll be in the know. I'm trying to um, commit to about two videos a week so just uh, <laughs> just hope that I am able to do that. <laughs> but yeah let's get into this process. And okay you guys I am using a L'Oreal the L'Oreal Quick Blue uh, bleach and a 40, 40 volume developer. That's what we're gonna use to get the blonde that we want. Um, and I'm just gonna uh, mix that up. Uh, normally I would uh, measure this out, but I'm in the comfort of my home and I've done it so many times that kind of I eyeball it or whatever. So I'm just uh, starting off with not too much, just in case it's too thick. You can always add more. And that's what I uh, eventually ended up doing. Uh, this is the consistency that I got, um, just very thick. So once I start um, to actually apply the bleach, it will stay where I want it to be because you don't want your bleach to be too runny or too thick or too chunky, or it just, it just won't work. It won't process the right way. So I'm starting off with the front section, which is where the closure is. That's like the, gonna be like the main part of uh, or the focal point of the actual overall look and so um i got some foil and i'm gonna about i'm about to slap that bleach on there uh uh, uh it's gonna be a lot of it i'm gonna make sure i'm over saturating <laughs> to make sure all of those hairs actually are um get hit with that bleach or whatever so yeah and um, uh, usually I wouldn't take this, those bigger sections, but being that it's a wig and it was a late night, I was very, um, exhausted after I made the wig, but I was like, you know what, I, I need to go ahead and get this out of the way. And so this is me coloring in a lazy way. I can admit, admit that. So for all of you colorists out there, don't chop my head off. All right. Just chill. Just chill out. You feel me? But yeah, um, got that first section done. Um, I'm gonna pull down another section and I'm gonna show y'all how uh, the finesse game works. My finesse game is, it, it's smooth. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take another section down and I'm gonna um, start uh, applying bleach to that as well. On um, this part, I actually didn't need a piece of foil because the foil's gonna, un Ravel because I didn't lock it in, but it's going to work because you see that? <laughs> it was just like, it, it really knew what I needed at that moment and it just was was perfect. I was like, wow, God is good. God is really good. Always got my back. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just saturating that piece. Um, This is gonna be the last piece for the front. Um, Cause like I said, I want like a heavy, a heavy, um blonde around like the the frame of the face and so that part is the part you'll see first and so I had to make sure I um make sure I had enough bleach on that bad boy to make sure it's gonna it's, it's gonna lay like it's supposed to lay you know what I'm saying but yeah that's uh the front part and then we're gonna move over to actually sectioning the rest of the hair uh, I'm going in, in a U shape um, around the uh, occipital bone 
from the crown all the way around the occipital bone. And I'm leaving out the top. Uh, if you could envision that, envision that. But yeah, that's where I'm at in my mind. And all of that hair is going to be touched by the bleach. And these are going to be the more saturated areas where it's going to be like really, you know, really, really saturated and bleach. And um, so that way, whoever gets this wig, they're going to, when they push the hair to the front, all of it will be, all that blonde will be popping out from under there, kind of like a, a peekaboo, if you will. But yeah, um... Um, like I said earlier, I was gonna use a couple different techniques. This, um, what I was doing is I was back combing at the roots because that kind of like pushes the hair uh, to be at different levels. And when I say levels, kind of think of like a zigzag. And so when it bleaches, it's not gonna be a straight line. It's gonna be kind of like a, a, what's that thing called when you're, the heartbeat thing like where it's kind of just like do 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 and it just makes for a, a a more seamless blend or it'll try it'll it'll make the um it'll um create kind of like a more of a melt if you will and not so much of a, a hard line like if you ladies ever gotten that pack hair from the um beauty supply store and it just has let's say it's one bead or 27 and it has that like harsh line that's what the back combing um does it kind of like blends it out so it's not so harsh because that's not a good look and so i moved to the front and this is where i was using the um what is this the balayage technique where i started really high and i'm focusing on the the perimeter and the ends more than anything. And I'm just pulling that bleach down, breaking the hair apart, making sure that I'm completely saturating um, that piece. And like I said, usually I would, if this was a, like a real human being, I would take smaller sections, but hey, um, this is the way that I'm doing it. So if you don't like it, they don't care. Bomba cut. No, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just uh, saturating that piece, making sure it's um, all over the hair. And my brush strokes, I'm blending more towards the base to kind of give like that blurred effect. And it's working. I could see it while I was actually applying it because the word for you all lifts pretty quickly. And so um, I could see it lifting as I was put putting it on so I know I was like yeah this is gonna be a pretty nice blonde uh when I get get done or whatever but uh yeah so I'm just saturating that bad boy saturating that bad boy saturating that bad boy it's good saturating that bad boy saturating that bad boy <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna go over to the other side did I do the other side already I wasn't even paying attention. But if I have to, I'm gonna do the other side the same way. Um, I'm gonna start towards the where the closure is and just pull that bleach down, focusing mo mostly on the frame of the face. And I'm visualizing all of this in my head. I've done it so many times, that's why I'm saying it that way because I can already see where it's going to lay once I actually put it on a mannequin or put it on somebody. I just, I, I just know. But yeah, using the same technique. Same technique. Uh-huh. Saturating that bad boy. Saturating that bad boy. Focusing on those ends. Those are the most important parts of saturating the ends. Um, because when, like I said, when they pull it over that shoulder, that's gonna, it's gonna pop out. They're gonna be like, whoa. What do you think of Beyonce? Beyonce? Well, hopefully that's what they say. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just blurring from the root to the rooted to the tootie. Uh-huh. And I'm saturating that bad boy. And so uh moving forward, um 
when I get to the rest of the hair, I'm gonna be using a, um, a weaving technique to, um, to color those, that last part of the hair. And what weaving does, it um, allows you to add depth and dimension. And so um, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a play on the pool of colors. Like I think dark recedes and light pops out. I believe that's how it goes. And so um, with all of the hair that I have in the foils now being with processing, um, I want to just add a little bit of depth, but not too much because it will take away from the from the overall look uh, or the look that I'm trying to get. It's the look I'm trying to get. But yeah, uh, I split out some of the hair. This is a part, this is an important part. This is a way that you could add depth, you could leave some of that darkness in there and that'll make the hair look a little uh, more dimensional or deeper. And then once you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on top on, this, on the next layer and then I'm gonna start my weaving. And you guys are gonna see that in a second. And this basically, you just go through what you call and pick up pieces and then you separate it and then you what i'll do is on this part i won't tease so much um probably won't tease at all um because that'll pull the color up higher um oh i lied i did tease what a tease <laughs> But I'm not going all the way up. I'm still doing like that uh, blurred effect towards the roots and then um, saturating towards the ends. And on this part, you could use like cotton to kind of like separate it so it doesn't sit on top of the hair that's under it. But I didn't have no cotton, so I kind of just made it do what it do, made sure um, it wasn't on the other hair. And this part um this part is goes back to what i said about the consistency of the bleach if it's at the right consistency it, and you put it on the hair it's going to stay exactly where you want it to be and the foils and stuff help but in this particular situation like i said i'm using a couple different techniques it worked for me you know what i'm saying it doesn't work for everybody but Okay, so this is where we're at in the front. I think this is like a level seven or eight. I'm gonna go with a solid, somewhere between a seven or eight, which is um, a 10, if you can think about it, a level 10 is like a white blonde. And then, from 10 all the way down to like four, it, it goes down different shades from like, you know, if you know, you know. But uh, that's the way that they're processed in the front so far. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these foils out and get ready to rinse this out. But um, when I do rinse it out, I'm gonna go in with my shimmer lights. And I made, a, I'm gonna make a bleach wash that kind of pull that, um, that darkness out of the hair kind of lifted a couple levels and so what you do is you'll mix some bleach and then you'll mix some um you'll pour in your shimmer lights and it'll lift and tone at the same time that purple shampoo will be toning while the bleach will be lifting and this is me after i um did the bleach wash and then i'm I set some conditioner on there. I let it sit for like a deep conditioner. Let it sit for about five minutes um, just to get a little bit of more strength in the hair. But as you can see, we got some pretty cool tones uh, or pretty warm tones, if you will. <laughs> um, and this is what it looks like blown out. I, um, I think it looks great. I mean, I see a little bit of uh, mistakes in there. Uh, some almost harsh lines, but um, in the brown at the root, you see that's what the bleach wash did. It lifted it up from that dark darkness to like a level four, three or four, maybe five in some spots. 
but that's the banding I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna probably go in and fix that. And then um, there was some uh, banding towards the ends as well. And that happens when you're being lazy like me and you're taking bigger sections and not really focusing on the smaller, like doing smaller sections or whatever. But yeah, um, hey, every time you bleach, you gotta cut anyway. So those bands that's towards the ends, I'm just gonna end up cutting them off anyway and layering this hair to try to get, it, get rid of it or whatever. So some spots I'll have to go and retouch, some spots I won't. But um, I'm gonna give you guys two looks. One's gonna be a uh, the straight look, and then uh, we're gonna go into some curls as well. But um, yeah, I wanted you guys to see it blown out and kind of see some of the discrepancies in there. But um, all those can be fixed. <laughs> all of them can be fixed. But overall, I think she's looking pretty darn good. And so I went in with my flat iron and just flattened it out. That really allows you to see the placement of the color too. Try to see where your mistakes are and you can see where you need to adjust um, or whatever. But yeah, this is the way it looks uh, completely flat ironed, which I think it looks beautiful. Um, like I said, towards the ends, we got a little bit of, of banding down there, but I'm gonna go in with my shears and take majority of that off because of the two different layers that's in here we're working with a 28 and a 24 and then a 18 inch closure so i have to i can't just leave it like that i gotta go through and layer that bad boy out or whatever but yeah overall i kind of got the look that i was that i was going for i hope you guys can see it um i think it looks wonderful she might think she beyonce i don't know i don't know i don't know but um, I'm going in with my Ion. I think this is a one inch curler. And I'm gonna use it like a wand. Um, but you can do, some people know how to, some people don't. But um, yeah, I'm gonna use it like a wand and add some waves in there. And then once I get the waves in there, I'm gonna go in and cut my layers like I wanted to be. And then make some minor adjustments, but I just wanted to show you guys the uh, first curl that I did and how it looks. And it was bouncy. It was bouncy, 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 bouncy. And I'm letting it cool down a little bit before I drop it. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Look at me go. Look at me at look. Look at me go, look at me go, look at me go, look at me go, look at me go. And after that, I'm gonna go in and, and do some cutting and doing some minor adjustments. And you guys are gonna see what it looks like. Right? Now. <laughs> Ooh, that boy is saucy. That boy is saucy. I don't know if you guys can see the layering, but it stopped like right, it starts like right below the chin or whatever, and then I just pop some some uh, barrel curls at the top instead of the uh, wand curls. And this is the overall look. These are both looks, the straight look and the, uh, the wavy look. And you guys let me know what you think about it, all right? Okay, you guys, we're back. And thank you guys for walking through that process with me. Check Shorty out, she's, she's, she's bomb. You know what I'm saying? This whole process was lit. I hope you guys learned something. Um, uh, if you have any questions for me, or have any tips for me, or even if you wanna actually uh, have a unit made, you could always go to Instagram and search Dexter the Stylist or you can go on Facebook and inbox me and then I'll try to put my um my link tree down in the description box so you can book me if you if you want. I am um, currently in the Atlanta area, but I also travel down to Central Florida to do hair uh, once a month. So um yeah, if you need me, just hit me up, you feel me? 
but uh yeah thank you guys again and i will be back on another video probably in the following week i'm gonna try to commit to doing um two videos a week and i think a wednesday and a friday is what i went with so um yeah uh make sure you hit that notification bell um so you know when i'm posting new stuff and if you have any tips or you have any um any ideas for me you can definitely put them in the comment section and i'll see if i can follow through but uh yeah this was fun um thank you guys for hanging out with me through this process and i will see you guys on my next video